Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some nail swatches. And I have some Beatles gel polish. I just got this recently. And um, I use Beatles quite often. You guys see me swatch their colors every time I get a new set. And I use it quite frequently. I use other brands as well, but I think a lot of the gel polish I have is from Beatles. They just, I really like the quality. So we're going to do some swatches with this new set. I have my nails already set on the little stands. They do have a uh, base coat and I use the Beatles base coat as well. And I'm going to use Beatles top coat. So these nails are ready cured and ready to be polished. Um, I'll just open this up. I do like the Beatles. I do like the little background on their box. It looks really pretty, like tropical with some flowers and all of these leaves and things. Very pretty. So when I get the sets, I do notice that um, it has a name to them, to the specific set. I don't remember what this name is. I do wish that they came on the box, the names of the set. But um, this particular set, I really had no... Um, I guess with the other sets I buy, I usually have an idea or it is like usually a theme to it. Like I've gotten a lavender purple set where it had nothing but purple polishes and I've gotten a green one that had nothing but green polishes. And then I got like, you know, other um, sets that kind of had a theme, I guess you can say, that kind of brought all the colors together. With this set, um, I can't really see that. Like I saw the set, I was looking through, I was looking through several different sets and um, also looking at my, some things that I liked. So I was looking through like, you know, my like list and things like that. And I saw this set and I thought it was just very pretty. It has a red color. I can always use red. I have a whole bunch of different shades of red. Actually, look, I have red on my nails today. Oh, there was something in there. Yeah, so I can always use red. Um, it has a red color to um in the set, but it also has like just a different variety. Like it has some pinks here. It has some purples, and this looks sort of like burgundy, uh, almost eggplant color. So, a little variety, not just a set um, set of gel polishes. So, um, yeah, there was really not a specific reason for me choosing these colors, aside from the fact they look pretty. So, I'm going to go ahead and let's see where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with this red. So I'm going to do three at a time. We're going to look at the colors. I'm going to do three and then have it, um, three of them cure. And then we'll do the other three. So this is a red 441. It looks like a bright red. I'm not sure if it'll be this dark or not. We'll see, I guess. So this is the red. It doesn't look as bright as I thought it would look. We'll see. I'm going to put two coats. Okay. It looks a little like, um, I don't know if it's picking it up on video, but this first coat looks a little bit 
of a pink undertone. The color itself on here does not look like that, but on a nail it looks just a little bit pinkish. Hopefully it is, comes out to be a nice red. So we have 441. I'm going to do 440 this one. It's 446 because I'm really curious to see how this color looks. So, it looks to be very similar to this. It looks a little darker, but it does look like this color right here. Let's see. Uh, looks like a dark purple. And depending on what uh, design or style you're going for, Sometimes you could just do one coat. You see how it looks opaque? Like it looks really pretty though. With just the one coat. It kind of gives it that jelly look, which I like. But it's a nice dark purple. I guess is how I would describe it so far. Yeah, it's like a yeah, dark purple. Very pretty. I have not been using super dark colors, like I have some dark purples, I have some dark blues and stuff, and I have not been using them at all. Um, let's see, I'm going to go with this purple here. Another dark purple. This one looks to be more of a deep purple. This one right here has an undertone of another color. This one here looks like purple purple. It looks like a color I already have. I'm going to go back to my purple beetle set and see if I have this color. Y'all, they have so many colors. It's insane. Like, just so many shades of all of the colors. Of, yeah, like, all of the colors they have, they have, like, different shades to it, it seems like. So, I may or may not have that color. I don't know. But they do have the number on top. So, I'm going to go back in my set later on after I'm done and see if I actually have that or not. So, these are the first three colors. Look at that. Very pretty. It looks nice and jelly like this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this around because the light from my lamp tends to um, change the color in the video. So all right, let's see what we got here. So we have some pink colors, and then we have this like what looks like a lavender color so I'm gonna just open it and then I'm gonna swatch them this is very pretty I mention it every single time but I love pink and these type of pinks I do like um I'm very I'm a little weird when it comes to light pinks I can't really describe what it is I like or dislike about a, a light pink, but certain pinks I'm just like, no thank you. And then something like this, I do like. But sometimes there'll be lighter pinks than this, and I'm like, I do not like that, or something similar to that, and I'm still like, no. I don't know. I can't really explain it. So then there's this pink. I love this like range of pinks where it gets to like medium pink or it looks like a mauve color this right here that's very pretty i love that look at that okay that's really nice and then i'm i'm 
um, let's just watch them. I just wanted to open them up and see. Then we have this that was very pretty as well. I do have a lavender, a few lavender colors. Um, looks similar to this, but well, it looks similar to the top. But then I, when I opened it just now, it looks very different the color. So I'm gonna check out my set, the purples that I have. I'm gonna check them out when I'm done with the video. Oops. So oh, hold on. Yeah, because I want to see if I ha actually have those colors already or not. This is a very nice purple. I have, yeah, I don't think I have this purple. It looks like it's going to be like a lavender, like a very light purple. But it's not, I don't know, it's like a medium sort of lavender tone or I don't know it's different it's very pretty this color looks like it's going to be my favorite from the set look at that that's nice that's very nice really really pretty oh oops okay I hit the tripod <laughs> let me put this here I'm done with that this one oops Okay, this is nice. I always love the texture of a Beatles polish. It just goes, it always goes on so smooth and it's like the perfect consistency. All you need is two coats. It's not too thin, but it's not too thick and it's, I never have issues with it like um chipping or anything like that so that's the other three colors look at that so pretty but also um depending on your application you just have to be careful because your application will really determine whether your gel polish will chip or not or if you experience any rippling like when you um, when you put your nails in the lamp and then uh, when you put your nails in the lamp and you take it out and you see like rippling where it might look wrinkly you might have put too thick of a coat so there's a few different things that will determine whether um, you get a good nail set because certain things can yeah, cause rippling, cause peeling, and just cause your manicure, your press-ons, whatever you're using to um, not look so great or not last long. So these look very jelly-ish. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another coat or not. I do like how they look though. I do like the fact that it looks like jelly purple. And then we have this red here, so. I should have gotten my other top. I don't know why I do that. Okay. So let's do this here. 
these three colors right here remind me of a set I just got not too long ago that um, I'm pretty sure I did a swatch video on and they were like jelly colors one of them was a pink color that looks very similar to that and this one I think that's my favorite color from this set so far but this purple is very different it doesn't quite look like a lavender like it's it is lavender obviously but there's an undertone of something else in here and it looks very very pretty I have so many colors like this or colors that I think are more suitable for spring and I just can't wait to to use I've been really into this um, jelly white color that's on here I really been loving that and it seems like a lot of nails I've been doing I've been using red in but um once like march comes i think i'm going to start using some spring colors like the pastel colors i have i have some neon colors i don't know i mean there aren't no rules you know i don't have to wait for a certain season to wear a certain color but You know, certain seasons and, and occasions and holidays just inspires you to do certain things. At least it does for me. And right now I'm not really inspired or like I don't really want to put pastel colors on my hands right now. Alright, so... This purple color is sort of like, seems like a jelly color. I do have it on a clear nail, so it will be different when it's on a solid, you know, regular colored tip or press on or whatever. Um, very pretty, very, very pretty. But um, yeah, so this is on a clear nail. So if it's on a solid color nail, um, I'm guessing it'll be a little darker, but I think the look of it is more on a jelly side. I have to go back and look at the photos of the colors because when I order it, it will show the colors and then um, I think sometimes it will show the color It'll show them like little blobs, and then sometimes you can see the colors on a nail, but that usually varies, because again, if you're using a solid nail, it's going to look different, it's going to look darker. But I don't recall the set looking more on a jelly side, so I'm going to have to go, I want to go look and double check and see. So that's the last I'm going to do of that, of these colors, actually. Okay. My lamp got a lot of a lot of use in the past couple of days. I've been doing a lot of sets. I feel like I've been doing nails just um constantly. <laughs> 
which I like, but I really do feel like I've been doing nails constantly, constantly. Oh, actually, I did not mean to do another coat of this. I think this had two coats already. Honestly, I did not want another coat of these. That's okay, I guess. These three colors are my favorites right here. These are pretty. See, it has a good little variety of like pinks and I wouldn't even say reds, but it just has a good variety of colors. But it has, you know, look at these pinks. That's very pretty. And then this little purple here. I love that. I bought some XXL um, nails recently. Oh my God, I'm so in love. So in love. <laughs> they are so long. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna show you guys right now. This is it right here. <laughs> I did a little um, swatch nail, but look how long, look at that. <laughs> they are so long this will be the longest i have ever did my nails and um i did a set already i absolutely love um i may make another set and make a video for my other channel i'm not sure yet but i did a set absolutely love it um this set is from um a manga that i like called uzumaki and um oh my god i'm just yapping on and on and i did not mean look okay hold on i meant to do a top coat let me just cure this real quick because i don't have any I don't have an alcohol pad or anything to wipe that off. But yes, I did a set using these extra long nails from a manga I like. And I love the nails so much. I don't know when I'm going to wear them. Um, The nails are very long. I think I'm going to wear them. Well, I need to wear them on a week that I'm not doing too much. <laughs> or if um I need to make sure if I go out I'm with someone so if I can't do things because the nails are too long I have someone there to help me I know that's horrible but for the sake of nails look at this my other ballerina is ballerina style too which is my favorite I love ballerina style my other ballerina style that I wear that's long um, I'm gonna say they're like this long. Let's see. Yeah, they're about this long. This is not focused. They're about this long, I think. Yeah. So that's a whole nice big chunk of nail added. And when they're this long, I'm like, wow, what am I doing? <laughs> But I really, 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 really want to put some nails on that long. I think I'm going to really do it for my birthday. If I don't, um, if I don't wear them before that, I'm going to do it for my birthday. I did put some on. I did put the set on. But I used the gel, like the sticky gel things. Hold on. The sticky gel tabs. I think I'll show you that as well. Hold on, though. Let me show 
you guys what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm talking about. These are little sticky tabs. So you take this off. There's like a film on it. Here you go, let me take it off. See that? And then you stick these on your nail and then you take the top off. So it's double-sided sticky. So sometimes in my videos I actually use these. If there's a week or you know there's a time where um, I don't want to have nails on and I'm just giving myself a break. I'll use these in my videos to have my nails on. So I did put that long set that I was talking about. I put that on and take photos and videos of, of the nails. Um, I use these. And those little sticky tabs are perfect if, you know, you don't want to glue your nails down or maybe you're just, you just happen to just be doing a photo shoot or video shoot or you just don't want something long term. The sticky tabs are great. I don't know if I would recommend it to use them like when you're going out I don't feel like they're as secure as glue well they're not as secure as glue but I've never went out with them um, I feel like you would lose a nail probably depending on what you were doing but Yeah, these um, these little sticky tabs here are awesome. And again, I wear them a lot. Well, I say 80% of the time my nails are glued on. Like today they are glued on. And 20% of the time, or maybe, I don't know, maybe a little bit more than that. I'm using these in my videos. Because um, I might, again, I just might have some time where I just don't want to wear nails. But, um... I'm not going to record with my bare ugly nails. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah, so I will use these little sticky tabs. And that's, again, more of a temporary thing. Um, if you want to put on press-ons, definitely more of a temporary thing. So here is... 441 okay. 446 I don't know 446 is oh I think it's almost like an eggplant color just on a jelly side not like solid color and then this 442 is this nice purple color. That is so pretty. I have so many pretty colors. And sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of the times, I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Um, If you didn't realize by now, I'm a little bit extra with my nails. And sometimes I tone it down. Like I'll say, okay, no, um, let me not do too much more on my nails. Like these nails, I was like, let me leave a nail solid. I never leave a nail solid, really. So I have a whole bunch of colors that I want to use. I think I'm going to make a whole bunch of like solid colored sets because I think... Yeah, I think I don't have any solid, like, solid color sets, meaning they have no bling on it. They have not one design, nothing, just solid color. I think I'm going to make some solid color sets with some colors that I don't use like that. Um, 
but I have a lot of nice colors like this and because I don't often make solid color sets I'm like I don't know what I want to do with this like I don't know what type of design I would want to make with that color so I end up not using it and I have a lot of colors that I have not used yet so maybe I'll make a video on it too so I'm doing some solid color sets for you guys but this is this set oh I got some polish here very very pretty these are my three favorite right here I don't know I'm torn between this is my favorite color but um oops I'm loving the pink but this purple is very different something is very different about it that is making it very very pretty it almost has a gray undertone I'm not sure if that's picking up or if you guys see it or not but it almost has a gray undertone to me I like it a lot yeah that's very pretty but these are my three favorites right here these colors are really really nice I can always use red different shades of red whatever actually it almost looks similar to what I have on and I think I did three coats I did I did three coats accidentally no, I did four coats, I think. Because I think I did three coats on all of the colors, right? And then I went to do a top coat and I accidentally did a another coat of that. So I think that had four. Let's see, I think this had four. Um, four coats, I think. But it looks very simple. Wow, it looks almost the same okay anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and um for listening to me always all the time just talk about nothing or just talk about whatever thank you so much i really really do appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time make sure you enjoy the rest of your week your night your day and take care of yourselves okay let me know which color you like best again this one is my I love that color it's so pretty um I think I'm leaning towards these too but um let me know which color you like best I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you guys next